Dragon Ball Super, Broly movie second trailer, there was a scene. And it was really interesting because we got to see King Vegeta along with other Saiyans kneeling down to King Cold and also Frieza. And you could clearly see the fear that is on King Vegeta's face guys. Deep down, he's really, really scared. But guys, another big question is, why is King Vegeta really scared of King Cold and also Frieza? And the answer to that, guys, is very simple. And there are two answers. Answer number one is power. King Vegeta knows that Frieza and also King Cold are very, very powerful. He knows that they could wipe out the whole Saiyan race if they really wanted to. And he also feared for his life. And guys, number two, he's not only fearing for his life, he is also fearing for the life of his son, young Vegeta. It's also very highly possible that King Cold and also Frieza, they threaten King Vegeta by saying that they will actually take his young son Vegeta and they will kill him. And with that, King Vegeta had no other options. And then guys, he only had one way out. And that was for him and the entire Saiyan race to follow every order that King Cold and also Frieza gives. And also guys, one more thing that I noticed in the second trailer is, it seemed like that King Vegeta and also the other Saiyans were actually following the orders of King Cold way before even Frieza arrived. Basically guys, in other words, what I'm trying to say is, way before Frieza was even here, it seemed like that the Saiyans were under control of King Cold. And on the scene where the Saiyans and also King Vegeta are kneeling down to King Cold and Frieza, this could be the first scene where King Cold introduces his son Frieza to the entire Saiyan race. And then guys, after that, King Cold transfers the leadership over the Saiyans to his son Frieza. And in that trailer guys, we heard King Cold telling King Vegeta that the Saiyans must follow the orders of his son Frieza. And after that, with a very sadistic smile, Frieza said, greetings to king vegeta but the saddest thing about that is soon frieza will actually make his plans to kill all the saints which is by destroying planet vegeta and the person that authorized frieza to destroy planet vegeta is none other than god of destruction beerus and i have a feeling guys that we'll actually get to see beerus in the past authorizing the destruction of planet vegeta now guys there's a big difference between ordering versus authorizing Beerus did not order Frieza to actually destroy planet Vegeta. Frieza had the idea on his own. And guys, all Beerus did was just authorize the destruction. Basically, in other words, what I mean by that is all Beerus did was pretty much just say yes to Frieza. Frieza probably just asked Beerus if he could destroy planet Vegeta. And without giving too much thought or even caring about it, Beerus probably just said, yeah, go ahead. And most likely this actually happened where Frieza didn't even ask Beerus to authorize the destruction of planet Vegeta. What Frieza probably did was he asked his father King Cold to ask Beerus if he can authorize the destruction of planet Vegeta. Because guys I feel like King Cold probably knows Beerus at a personal level. Because guys in the movie Resurrection of F and also in Dragon Ball Super we heard Frieza saying that father told me never to mess with Majin Buu and also got a destruction Beerus. Anyways guys that is about it. That's all I have for you guys today. So do let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. And if you guys have enjoyed this video then guys be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. And if you guys want more of this like this and also updates about the upcoming Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. Then guys be sure to hit the subscribe button because guys I'll be uploading a lot of videos about that. Anyways guys once again thank you all so much for watching and have a blessed day my friends.